This is the Cyclone Paint Mixer. This has been sent to me to try out and I have to say that I am actually very impressed with it. It actually does a brilliant job of mixing paint. It's made from stainless steel. It's designed so that it can go in the container, rest on the bottom and then you can move that round with a variable speed electric drill and that will mix the paint. The holes ensure that you mix the paint properly and it also creates a vortex effect in the tin which moves the paint outwards, upwards and back down again so that it is mixed up properly. I did actually buy another paint mixer a few months back which is this one. This is a Bosch one and I did actually try to mix up some very thick Zinzu 123 that was a couple of years old and at the end of it actually got stuck in the Zinzu 123 and it came off like that rendering it useless. These are actually very similar in price to buy. I do believe this one is about £12 and I paid a similar price for this one and it didn't last long at all before the end of it actually came off. You can also use this for opening tins of paint. As you can see this paint has seen better days and it has split completely. So we're just going to see how long it takes to mix that back up to a usable condition. You can see that after just a few seconds it has mixed that up completely. You could now quite easily paint using that. I did also try this on a tin of Zinzo 123 which is approximately five years old and has completely gone solid. This is actually the tin that I actually broke my other mixing paddle on but as you can see the cyclone does actually work and it is actually mixing up the product. Again we have another tin of water-based paint which has separated completely. Using the cyclone you can quite easily mix that up to a usable paint in just a few minutes. Cleaning the cyclone is very easy, especially with water based paint. You can simply put it in a container with some water. Give it a few spins and then simply clean off the remainder using a brush. If I had to pick a fault with this I would say that it would be better with an hexagonal end on it. If it had a quarter inch hexagonal shank on the end it would be a lot easier to fix in a lot of drills and that would prevent the chuck from slipping. So that is the Cyclone paint mixing paddle. It does a very good job of mixing paint. It's very efficient, very fast and it should also be very durable because it is made from stainless steel. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have and you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel.